Bogey Lanes is a world-renowned candlepin bowling center, which has both a superior kids program, but also has a vastly superior set of adult bowlers and leagues known for their tournament domination. It is quite common to see Bogey Lanes represented in both kids and adult TV competitions throughout the world, as well as world championships. Many bowlers come to this alley to see what the place is all about, as well as to bowl at such a place with a sterling reputation. On January 2017, their sterling reputation will forever be ruined and nobody will ever want to bowl here again because... It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to Watch Me Suck at Bowling, and to start 2017 off on the right or wrong foot, we are here at a place I've wanted to come to for a while, Bogey Lanes in East Brookfield, Massachusetts. This place is very well known for an excellent kids program, because you see a lot of their kids competing in competitions, especially Candle New Generation. And a lot of adults come from here too. They flood the tour scene, they flood the competitions because this is an excellent place for which they have excellent programs. And looking at it from the outside, it looks a bit subdued, but it's pretty simple as it is. However, the inside is a lot less than simple and is rather interesting and not in a bad way either. It's just a lot of purple, but it looks really good as, as I've seen on YouTube. So uh, it looks a little crowded, so hopefully we'll be able to get some games in. From what I understand, there are senior leagues playing, but they only take up six lanes. So let's go in, hopefully, and see what happens. All right, let's start from here. This is the check-in desk and the front door is literally right there. And they have a little arcade over here. Oh, actually, yeah, it's a little arcade. It's got plenty of games here. Interesting. Surprisingly bright for how little light there is in here. And we have the pool tables. I'm going to try and take a photo there. There we go. Got glow-in-the-dark air hockey. That's interesting. There are the pool tables and someone working way in back we didn't see, but yeah, I don't think they mind. I always like to give a full tour of these places before we start. In a place I haven't been. Oh, and here's your prize redemption counter right there. So there's the arcade in the, in the pool hall. Of course, the bowling alley is not complete without the bowling. Let's just go a little more this way here. There's the front entry. We've got 12 lanes. Try not to get a little jittery part in that. And they got an interesting purple motif going on here. And as we can see here, it's a pattern that repeats. And pardon the zoom in there. We will be on lane number 12, which is not lit up yet. But that's because we haven't done everything we need to do. And speaking of such, let's take a look at all the highs and lows that we have got so far in terms of scores. Some of the scores on this sheet have changed quite a bit since last time, so here we go. There has been a change in every discipline, however you will not see that here in the candle pin, as it shows the 110 for a high single and the low 44 for a single, but on the December 3rd impromptu bowling video just before Queen of the Palace was recorded, 
I have got a new high triple, which now inched up to 270. 266 stood for quite a while. So that's why you don't see anything in Candlepin, even though things have changed there. However, everything is visible from this point on in Duckpin. In the last impromptu video, December 21st, 2016, I got a 118, very respectable. However, it could have been in the 120s if I didn't prematurely reset the machine on the last frame, forgetting I was bowling a full frame and not just a bonus on a strike. Oopsie. Oh well. And then at 10 pin, still kind of a crappy score in terms of uh, 10 pin bowling, but we went up from a 106 to a 112. However, the 26 was trying to do two-handed bowling on a very oily lane, which made the ball very slippery, and there were no towels to clean it, so I had no control over it, thus the laughable 26. And those are the highs and lows in all three disciplines that are available here in New England that I know of. Let's get back to the action. All right, before we get going, they do have some interesting decor here. Besides the yellow tables, check out these tables. Isn't that quite interesting? That is quite interesting. Anyway, as we normally do, we check the house balls just to see how things are going, how they look, how well everything's maintained. A little gouge there, not too bad. Yeah, they don't seem to be in that bad of shape. Well, uh, that's a deep one, but it's a tiny one. And for house balls, they've been around a while, not really all that bad. So if I've, yeah, it's not too bad. But of course, we don't use the house balls. We use our Epco Urethane Pro Line balls, which is the only thing pro about this show. And speaking of bowling balls, it's now time. For those famous words you've been waiting for, it's now time to watch me suck at bowling. Frame one, ball one. There is some slight music playing up there every once in a while. Even I can barely hear it. Should be all right. Oh, and this place has automatic scoring. Boo. In fact, the pad didn't even work right. I had to use my last name. I couldn't enter my first because the letter G didn't work. Anyway, you know that post-editing, I fixed the scores anyhow. Frame on ball one. Ball two. Minor lobs like that, we let live. I find a lot of people say for someone who's casual bowling, I actually set the standards too high for myself. But five foot movement past the line and then it's too much. Ball three. I have to crouch because I'm on an elevated platform. We start with a nine. And for those of you that like pin setters, here's the bowl more in action. And I hit the camera. Very tough to align the thing. Anyway, there you go. Frame two, ball one. Ball two. Ball three. And a six. 
it's a little bit of a mixed bag. On frame one, we got a respectable nine, but then a not so good six and two. So far, the total is 15. Frame three, ball one. I don't know if you could see this or saw it in the footage. These four lanes are actually higher than the other eight. Too. It's really hard to get out of the way of pin cam, so yeah, you see me take a weird position. Those two frames weren't all that bad. Again, another respectable 9 and 3, and a decent 8 at 4, bringing us to 32. We just need some marks to make things a little bit better. Frame 5, ball 1. Those two frames weren't all that good. I mean, we got a seven and five, and then the stink frame of four at six. So far, the total is a bogey lanes quality lie of 43. Frame seven, ball one, one point away from the low. of the day. Frame eight, ball one. As you can see here, we got an orange pin. And it's the head pin. If we knock down that pin, we get a shiny quarter. And it has to be a strike. Ball two. Three. 
that's an interesting way to get eight. Finally, a mark in frame seven. However, El Stinko the bonus ball only gave us a three fill. The remaining five pins gave us eight and eight for a total of 64. Frame nine, ball one, six points from all right. Ball two. Ball three. Floors seem to be a bit bouncy, ain't they? And we got the six. Frame 10, ball one. I think all righty is as far as we're getting today. Ball three, a spread eagle type ball does not help. And that six is all we're getting. Oh, a bit of a rough start, but I've seen worse. We got a total of 76. And away goes the score, but you see more of it as we go along. And as you can see, it's automatic scoring. And it's provided by none other than another mechanical failure. And because the G doesn't work, it's definitely uh, another malfunction. But so far, not too bad. I wanted to show you that. And we're ending the first of five shows in January 2017 of Watch Me Suck It Bowling from Bogey Lanes in East Brookfield, Mass. Ruining the reputation of a really good house where really good bowlers come from. Georgia 551 saying hope you enjoyed and have a good one.